In the 1930s, the Soviet Union began to focus on the development of high-rate-of-fire machine guns in response to future needs in air combat, strafing, and anti-aircraft fire. During that period, several uniquely designed machine guns emerged, all of which had exceptionally high rates of fire. The Sloston Rotary Barrel Machine Gun was one of them. After initial validation, Soviet designers concluded that traditional machine gun structures could not achieve the desired rate of fire and instead relied on structures such as rotary barrels or rotating breeches. The Sloston machine gun used a rotary barrel structure, which is why it is referred to as a rotary barrel machine gun rather than a Gatling-style machine gun, as it has fundamental differences from the latter. Designed and manufactured by Ivan Ilyich Sloston in 1935, this machine gun had a caliber of 7.62 mm and fired 7.62 gig Gyar 54 enemy ammunition using eight rifled rotating barrels. Unlike other rotary barrel machine guns, the Sloston did not rely on external power to rotate the barrels. Instead, it used the gas generated during firing to drive the rotation. The shooter only needed to pull the trigger, similar to operating a Maxim machine gun. Each barrel had independent mechanisms, and during rotation, these mechanisms moved along inclined tracks to complete loading, locking, and firing. The machine gun used a 250-round metal ammunition belt to ensure a continuous supply of ammunition. Despite this, the rate of ammunition consumption was astonishing. In actual tests, the gun achieved a rate of fire of approximately 3,300 rounds per minute, emptying a belt in less than five seconds. The tests also revealed other issues, such as components unable to withstand the high rate of fire, rapid expansion, and overheating of the barrels during sustained firing, resulting in the gun jamming and being unable to continue firing. These problems hindered further improvements to the Sloston machine gun. However, test personnel still believed it was a promising weapon, especially when the machine gun fired and directly pulverized targets 100 meters away, leaving a hole in the ground, which amazed everyone present. Of course, the outbreak of World War II posed a greater obstacle. Throughout the war, the Sloston machine gun did not make substantial progress. In 1949, the designer himself began experimenting with a 14.5mm caliber version of the Sloston machine gun. The choice of 14.5mm caliber was related to the use of this caliber ammunition by the Soviet Army at that time. After all, there was no need to develop a new type of ammunition. The 14.5mm caliber Sloston machine gun was planned to be installed on armored vehicles and trucks, capable of both ground strafing and anti-aircraft fire. It was also intended to be used as an anti-aircraft machine gun on the IS-7 heavy tank, which would have considerable power, especially when firing armor-piercing rounds of 14.5m caliber, capable of turning lightly armored vehicles into hornet nests. Unfortunately, the Sloston machine gun did not pass the tests, and some of its flaws were difficult to rectify without significant changes to the overall design, essentially requiring a complete redesign of the firearm. Although the Sloston machine gun did not reach its final stage, the prototype is currently housed in a museum. Many designers still recognize its design as a very forward-thinking weapon. The weight of the gun, 7.62 mm caliber version is 28 kilograms and it weighs 67 kilograms when equipped with a tripod and other accessories. It has an effective range of 2,000 meters and a maximum range of 3,000 meters.